Today we're going to be solving word problems using a system of equations. The steps to solve are the same steps that we used when we solved any other word problems. So the first thing we're going to do is identify your variable. Okay, you need to x equals y equals a equals m equals b equals whatever variable you want to use, you need to identify it. Then you're going to write your system of equations, solve your system of equations, and then state your conclusion using therefore. It's those three dots. It's like the vertices of a triangle. And your geometry teacher will love it that you're using this method to state your conclusion. But first, let's review. So graphically, the solution to a system of equations is the point at which the lines intersect. And I want you to keep that in mind. Algebraically, it is the ordered pair, x comma y, that makes both equations true. When I plug in that x value and y value, it's true for both equations. So the three methods that we've learned to solve a system of equations are the graphing method. What's another one? The substitution method and the elimination method. For today's problems, the substitution method works great. So this is the method we're going to be using to solve the equations for today. So I'm going to go through some different types of problems that you see. You'll see many types of problems, um, but these, these are, tend to be simpler problems. Number one, Austin and Maddie went to swim practice. Maddie swam two more than twice as many yards as Austin. Together they swam 65 yards. How many yards did Austin swim? So the first thing we're going to do is identify our variables. So what would our variables be in this case? We're looking for how many yards Austin swam. Well, let's let A equal what Austin swam in yards, which means my other variable could be M for Maddie. That'll be how many yards she swam. So then what would my system of equations look like? Well, let's look at all the pieces of information that it gave us. We know that Maddie swam two more than twice as many. So watch how I write this. Maddie swam two more than twice as many. Well, twice as many as Austin would be two times A. Two more than that would be plus two. So that's how I come up with my first equation. Let's look at the next piece of information. Together, they swam 65 yards. So that means the number of yards Austin swam plus the number of yards Maddie swam equals 65 yards. So now we've come up with our system of equations that we're going to use to solve this word problem. And that's step three. We're going to solve this system of equations. Let's use a different color here. I'm going to use the substitution method because I have one equation where a variable is already solved for, m. If m equals 2a plus 2, anywhere I see m, I can replace it with 2a plus 2. So instead of a plus m equals 65, I'm going to write a plus 2a plus 2 equals 65. And then we're just going to solve this equation. I do that by combining like terms. 3a plus 2 equals 65. And then I'm going to subtract 2 from both sides, and I get 3a equals 63. When I divide both sides by 3, what do I get for a? 21. And notice that I've solved for exactly what the problem asked me. How many yards did Austin swim? This is going to be my fourth step. Step 4. Therefore, Austin swam 21 yards. Now, what would I need to do if I solved it in this manner, but it asked me how many yards Maddie swam? What would I need to do? Well, over here, what I would do is I would take an equation, perhaps this first one, and m equals 2a plus 2. I would plug in 21 for a. And then I would just solve this. m equals 42 plus 2. So m equals 44. So Maddie swam 44 yards. So we've got how many each of these kids swam. 
but the question asks specifically how many yards Austin swam. So now let's go to the next type of problem. These are perimeter problems. You've actually seen problems like this before, but let's get started. First, I wanna remind you that the formula for perimeter of a rectangle is two times the length plus two times the width. And I get that because a rectangle looks like this. This is the length, this is the width. So the problem says the length of a rectangle is five inches less than four times the width. The perimeter is 90 inches. What are the dimensions of the rectangle? Okay, so what are our variables? What are we talking about here? We're talking about the length of a rectangle and we're also talking about the width of a rectangle. So now let's set up our system of equations. This first piece of information says the length of a rectangle is, when you see the word is, think of an equal sign. The length of a rectangle is five inches less than, remember that's one of those turnaround phrases, four times the width. So if I take four times the width, five inches less than that would be minus five. Then my second equation, the perimeter is 90 inches. Well, that means P equals 90. Anywhere I see P right here, I can replace it with 90. So instead of P equals 2L plus 2W, I'm right, 90 equals 2L plus 2W. So now we've got a system of equations where we do have a variable that's already solved for, and that's why the substitution method works really well for these types of problems because a variable is already solved for. So if L equals 4W minus 5, anywhere I see L, I can replace it with 4W minus 5. So over here, I'm going to do step 3, which is to solve the system. So instead of 90 equals 2 times L, I'm going to write 90 equals 2 times 4W minus 5 plus 2W. So now I've created one equation one variable. And I'm going to distribute this two to get rid of the parentheses. 8w minus 10 plus 2w. Now let's combine like terms, 8w and 2w. That makes 10w minus 10. I'm going to add 10 to both sides and I get 100 equals 10w. And now I'm going to divide by 10 like this so I get W equals 10. So now I know the width. If I know the width, how can I find the length? Well, if W equals 10 anywhere I see W, right there, I can replace it with 10. So that's what I'm gonna do. Instead of L equals 4W minus five, I'm going to plug in 10 for W and solve for the length. So L equals 40 minus five, what is 40 minus five? 35. So now let's do our fourth and final step. Let's write our therefore statement, our conclusion, what we came to doing all of this work. We found, therefore, the dimensions of the rectangle are 10 by 35. Now you could absolutely write that as the width is 10 inches and the length is 35 inches. But therefore, the dimensions of the rectangle are 10 by 35. So now let's get to our last example that we're gonna do today. And I call these quantity price problems where you have, and I'll just get to this example. Your group purchased 25 tickets at the local movie theater. Each adult ticket costs $8 and each child ticket costs $5. Your group spent a total of $140. How many adult tickets were purchased? There are so many problems out there just like this that talk about child tickets and adult tickets. And there's different pieces of information that you're given. You're given how many tickets were purchased and you're given the cost, which is why we talk about quantity price. Okay, so let's first label our variables. How many adult tickets were purchased? Okay, so we're looking for the number of adult tickets and the number of children's tickets, child tickets. And I like to write something like this number because sometimes you're looking for the cost. 
So in this case, you're looking for the number that were purchased. So now let's set up our system of equations. So the first piece of information that we're given is that the group purchased 25 tickets. That means the number of adult tickets that were purchased plus the number of child tickets were, that were purchased should equal 25. So here's that quantity problem, right? Quantity, think number, right? So that's the amount, the total amount of tickets. Then the next equation, let's look at our next piece of information. Each adult ticket, co ticket costs $8, child ticket costs $5, they spent $140. So when I think about writing this equation, if adult tickets were $8, then 8 times the number of adult tickets plus child tickets cost $5, so 5 times however many child tickets were sold should equal $140. So now I've got one equation that deals with the price, so quantity price. And now let's solve it. Step 3. And we're going to solve this using the substitution method. And I like to use the substitution method when I have a variable that's already solved for. I don't have that here. But if you look in this first equation, wouldn't it be really easy to solve for one of these variables? Couldn't I just subtract C from both sides to get A equals 25 minus C? And actually, you know what? I'm going to do step three down here. So I've rewritten that first equation where I have one variable already solved for. So if A equals 25 minus C, anywhere I see A, I can replace it with 25 minus C. And then I'm going to finish writing out the second equation. So plus 5C equals 140. And now I'm just going to solve this. I'm going to distribute this 8 into each term on the inside of the parentheses. So I get 200 minus 8C plus 5C equals 140. And then I'm going to combine like terms, 200, so that's negative 8c, and positive 5c is negative 3c. And then I'm just going to solve this basic two-step equation by subtracting 200 from both sides, and I get negative 60 equals negative 3 times c. And what do I do at this point? Divide both sides by negative 3, and I get c equals 20. So now, We've got the number of child tickets that were purchased. The question is asking for the number of adult tickets that were purchased. So we actually need to find the value of A. When I know the value of C, which is 20, I can, anywhere I see C, I can plug in 20. I could plug it into my original equation, either of my original equations, or this new equation that I have changed and I've already solved for the value of A. And I've just rearranged it. So if A equals 25 minus C, then A equals 25 minus 20, which is 5. How many adult tickets were purchased? 5. So let's write that in our concluding statement. Therefore, 5 adult tickets were purchased. And that concludes your notes over solving a Word problem using a system of equations day one. I hope it was helpful.